The Hoffling Hospital experiment, conducted in 1966 by psychiatrist Dr. Charles K. Hoffling, is a seminal study in the field of social psychology, particularly concerning obedience to authority in medical settings. This experiment was designed to explore how far healthcare professionals would go in obeying authoritative instructions, even when such orders conflicted with their professional standards and protocols. The setup. The experiment took place in a real hospital environment, using 22 unsuspecting nurses as participants. These nurses were each assigned to different wards and were unaware that they were part of a study. The critical part of the setup involved a staged scenario where the nurses would receive a phone call from a person claiming to be a doctor. The supposed doctor, who was actually an actor, would instruct the nurse to administer a drug called astrotin to a patient. The prescription involved several key breaches of hospital protocol. 1. Unauthorized prescription. The drug was not authorized for use in the hospital, meaning it was not on the approved medication list. 2. Exceeding dosage limits. The dosage requested by the caller was twice the maximum. The daily dose indicated on the label. 3. Absence of written orders. Hospital policy required that medication orders be written and signed by a doctor. In this scenario, the order was given over the phone, which was against hospital rules. 4. Unfamiliar doctor. The nurses had never met or heard of this doctor before, further. Violating protocol which typically required direct interaction or familiarity with the prescribing physician. The procedure. During the phone call, the doctor would instruct the nurse to prepare and administer 20 milligrams of astrotin to a specific patient. The bottle of astrotin, clearly marked with the maximum daily dose of 10 milligrams, was conveniently placed in the drug cabinet for the nurse to find. The nurses were observed to see whether they would comply with the doctor's orders despite the clear violations of medical guidelines and safety procedures. The results. The results of the Hoffling Hospital experiment were startling and revealing. Out of the 22 nurses who participated in the study, 21, 95%, were prepared to administer the medication as instructed. These nurses proceeded to prepare the injection and were only stopped by an observer before actually administering the drug to the patient. Only one nurse refused to comply with the doctor's order, citing the obvious protocol breaches. Ethical Considerations The Hoffling experiment raised significant ethical questions. The nurses were subjected to a stressful situation without their prior consent, and the potential for real harm was present, even though the actual administration of the drug was prevented. The deceptive nature of the experiment, along with the psychological stress imposed on the nurses, would be considered unethical by today's standards. Implications and Impact Despite the ethical concerns, the Hoffling Hospital experiment had a profound impact on the understanding of obedience and authority within professional settings, particularly in the medical field. The study highlighted the powerful influence of perceived authority on behavior, even among trained professionals who are expected to prioritize patient safety. The findings from this experiment underscored the need for 1. Clear protocols ensuring that medical procedures and protocols are clear, understood, and followed without exception. 2. Assertiveness training, empowering healthcare professionals, especially nurses, to question and verify orders that seem unsafe or inappropriate. 3. Ethical standards, strengthening ethical standards in psychological and medical research to protect participants from undue harm. The Hoffling Hospital experiment remains a pivotal study in psychology, illustrating how situational factors and authority can lead individuals to act against their better judgment and established rules. It serves as a crucial lesson in the importance of vigilance, training, and ethical considerations in both medical practice and psychological research.